John Cockerell Defense is part of John Cockerell Group. We have different activities, including defense, and we have two uh, divisions. We have one division, Arcus, and we have the Weapon Systems Division uh, based in Lonsa. John Cockerell Defense has a, a big history in developing and manufacturing guns, and our uh, DNA is really the high caliber guns, 90 105. What you see here behind me is what we call the Cockerell 3 105. Uh, rem uh, a turret. Uh, it's equipped with two persons uh, and uh, there are some unique features. A land combat system, you need mobility, you need protection, you need lethality in C4I2 and this turret is responding to all of this. Our turret uh, is based on armored aluminium, so it's lightweight. It's not like some of our competitors that do it in steel, uh, ring the mass up and the first thing a vehicle manufacturer is asking what's your weight so we are a, a, a relative low weight second protection this configuration is level four ballistic protection according to the stanak we can go up to up to level six uh, lethality 105 uh, there was a big discussion ongoing 105 versus 120 um, the big advantage of the 105 is you have a, a very big range of uh, ammunition available qualified by nato uh, and it can uh, do the missions like uh, infantry support uh, and so on. A uh, big feature of this one is that we can elevate the gun, the cannon, to 42 degrees, as you can see over here. No other 105 or 120 cannon can do that. This gives us the ability not to have only direct fire, but also indirect fire. We can fire in an artillery function. We can hit targets up to a distance of 10 kilometers. The other advantage of the elevation is counter US, counter drones. The drones are changing the battlefield, uh, lessons learned from Ukraine. And by being able to elevate the gun uh, in elevation, we can also uh, fire on targets uh, like drones with a specialized ammunition, what we call canister ammunition. It's like uh, a chasing shotgun. So a lot of bullets and you can destroy um, uh, drones with that. And then the fourth pillar of a land combat system, mobility, lethality, protection, is the C4I2. We can interconnect with whatever battlefield management systems, with sensors, to um, interconnect with our friends and allies on the battlefield. I think we are responding to uh, a gap in, in the needs of the, the armored land forces. You have light armored vehicles up to 30 tons, and then you have the very heavy main battlefield tanks, 50, 60 tons and up, upstairs. We are in the middle. So that's why this concept, what we call the light tank, customers like it a lot, uh, because we can provide high firepower, high uh, mobility uh, and anti-drone capabilities uh, in that range of, of platforms. This platform is in use uh, in uh, other countries already. It's not a prototype, it's fully qualified. Unlike some of our competitors, they only present mock-ups on this uh, exhibition. We are presenting a fully functional turret. Uh, it has been qualified and uh, procured by other customers. And I have to say, um, they like it very much. Well, I think we have a unique product with the 42 degrees. Uh, that's a feature no other competitor uh, can give. The discussion is always 105, 120. You have advantages, disadvantages. So the end user, at the end, they have to make a choice. If they go for a 105, we are unique. If they go for 120, uh, you have different competitors but ammunition is more expensive, etc. So that's the first decision to be made by the end user, by the customer. We want to convince them that for the light tank, this range between the less heavy and the main battlefield tanks, we have a good option. What is our strategy? We need a platform. We need a platform to put our target on. So we have to team up with a company like, in this case, FNSS. And I would, to thank, I would like to thank FNSS for the collaboration. Uh, and our strategy is to team up with FNSS for the light tracked uh, tanks. But uh, we can put this turret on whatever platform the end user is selecting. For example, you have 8x8 vehicles. This could also be fitted on 8x8 vehicles. And we have, we have no preference on which platform we, are, we have been put. But I repeat myself, this configuration with the Kaplan from FNSS and our turrets has been procured by uh, a nation in the Far East. So it's a proven, fully qualified solution.